So for today's video, I'm going to try something a little bit different. What I have here is a Lichtenberg figure, or people like people call it fractals. It's a fractal design made using a microwave transformer, electricity flowing through wood. I'll leave a link in the description on how this process is done. And I will also leave a link in the description for a video where I took resin with, and put some color in it and filled all this in and sanded it down. Uh, it came out pretty neat, I think. And But for today, what I want to try to do is take some spray paint and just maybe spray some random colors, just maybe a color here, different color here, different color here, just all over it and let that dry and then sand it back off and see what we're left with. I chose this one because it has shallower grooves in it. Um, anytime you're spraying something that has grooves in it, it's really hard to fill them in. So I'm hoping that with them being really shallow or at least a lot shallower than some of the other ones that it will take the paint a little bit easier and it may not have to be so thick when it's sprayed in. So let's go out to the spray booth. Um, I'm just going to grab a few random colors. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Just kind of a test, kind of an experiment, see what happens. So let's go do that. Okay, so we're out here in the spray booth and I've just got a bunch of different colors. These are all acrylic lacquers. I'm pretty sure you could use enamel or any other kind of paint you want. I'm just going to use everything that matches the same kind of paint throughout because sometimes different types of paint that can cause bubbling and scaling and all kinds of wrinkling and all kinds of weird weird things. So to avoid that, I'm just using the same, same brand, same type and all that. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Duplicolor, although I wouldn't turn it down if they did or if they want to sponsor future videos. Just want to throw that out there. But so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of it and spray it just randomly in different areas, different colors, and just kind of see what happens. After it's sanded back down, it should leave the color down in the little grooves in here. We'll try that out. I'm going to turn the fan on, overlay some music, and let's get started and see what happens. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. A lot of random colors. It's hard to see really what's going on. The paint got down into a lot of the grooves and everything here, so a lot of it's covered up, so it's really hard to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry out, and then I'm going to sand it down, see what we end up with. It looks like there was a lot of that, uh, I think it was chrome. They got down into a lot of it. So a lot of that might show up. If it looks like it's too much after it's sanded down, we can always go back over and hit it with a few more colors and then sand it down again if we need to. But I'm gonna let this dry out, sand it down, and we'll see what we're left with. All right, so we're gonna, this has dried out pretty well, I think. We're gonna go ahead and sand it down. Just gonna use this little random orbital sander. It has a 120 grit on it. Um, should be able to give me enough precision to hopefully not get too far down into the layers of the plywood. So let's go ahead and sand it and see what happens.
see we did end up with a lot of the chrome color down in most of it I'm trying to get all the way down to the wood but I don't know I might leave it like this I might I might try to keep sanding it and see about getting down to the wood what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up back out and put a few more colors back on top of this just to kind of give it some more color in it I mean I guess you could stop here if you like that but I'm just gonna go back out and see what happens So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep sanding because if I keep sanding it by the time I get down past this paint here it's gonna start losing a lot of the detail in the grooves here a lot of these real fine details will sand out so I think I'm just gonna leave it kind of like it is um, not exactly what I was going for like I said I was hoping to get back down to the wood and leave just the colors in these designs here but overall it's just kind of a kind of a worn rustic looking piece of abstract art i mean i think it came out all right i mean you could even you know you cut that down the middle and make two of them you know it's kind of a kind of look like little trees that way it look kind of neat with all the you know different random colors throughout so i think i'm just gonna leave it like it is i'm gonna spray a clear coat on it and then uh that'll really bring a lot of this color out and it'll really pop and bring it to life too so i'm gonna spray that and I'll bring it back and we'll take another look at it. Right, so now that it's had a chance to sit and dry for a little while, you can see the light reflecting there. It's got kind of a sheen to it. You can also see, of course it's going to it always looks a little better in person but overall it just it really has a nice look to it the different colors just kind of fading in and out of each uh, I guess you call it each branch of you know the little tree design that it kind of has in it and uh, like I said it I think it came out pretty good considering uh, it wasn't what I was going for but I mean, sometimes you just have to try things and see what happens. I probably will go on and just cut this down to make two separate pieces. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just wanted to try this out and see what would happen. If you have any suggestions on different ways to do this or basically any other kind of project idea, just leave it, leave a comment. And uh, that being said, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, I'll leave some pictures at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.